Dan, I have some of your books. Well, you should have all of them, but we'll move on, as well as some from others, many of whom you reference in your work or on podcasts. These books, etc., contain so many workouts, and they do, for strength, mobility, fitness, etc., that I am at a loss to where to start or what to do next. I think you have made a statement to the effect that I could do everything, but I can't do everything at once. Um, yeah, it's true. <laughs> You, you, you can do all kinds of stuff, but you, you know, it's kind of hard to do multiple qualities at once. Um, could someone like me, 63 years old, with an interest in overall fitness and a little above strength, simply pick a program, finish it, then move on to another, then another, then another? I might not exhaust them all before I die. Or should my training be more specific and planned? Well, I think okay, the answer would be both are right. Um, if, if you read my work, I often reference the, the great insight Tommy Kono had about training for eight weeks for an Olympic lifting meet. And the Monday after the meet, you go back to a bodybuilding program. When you get eight weeks out, you're back to Olympic lifting and you, and you mix those back and forth. <clears throat> I mean, could you do mass made simple followed by the big 21 followed by? You could, but I think you'd burn up quite a bit. You know, Jim. The podcast that you're emailing to, podcast at danjohnworkouts.com, I mean, there's an obvious answer here. Uh, why don't you sometimes just go to danjohnworkouts.com, type in Park Bench, you know, press the button on Park Bench, let us know the equipment you have, and just follow those really simple, logical, repeatable workouts that you have in the program. You could do that, you know, for a couple of months at a time and then stop, shift gears, and focus on a specific thing. You could do that when you know, they do these things through the year. Now there's uh, there's this one program where you squat every day in October. Uh, there's another one where a couple of years ago everyone hanged, hang, hung for uh, seven minutes a day in the month of January. Uh, some friends of mine online a couple of years ago did this thing where it was uh, January 1st, you did a Turkish get up left and a Turkish get up right. The second, you did two left, two right. The third, you did three. And, of course, in the 31st, you did 31 and 31. You know, doing something like that is going to change. At the end of that, I mean, if you decide to do a, a yoga challenge, they have these challenges at the yoga studio near my house that they do the whole month of you, you, you challenge yourself to go every single day. I mean, if you've got flexibility issues, doing a month of yoga in a hot room might, might do miracles for you. But then you're done. Move on. If you're not more flexible after a month of that, well, then you're not going to get more flexible. I mean, certainly you can master it and, you know, go down that route, but it seems to be a little bit away from the goals you're talking about. So, yes, you could jump from program, finished program to finished program. But what I'd recommend in between is something, a park bench program, something safe and sane and easy to get through.